When I was little, I dreamed to be a carpenter. But the worst course in high school is not for women. Now I feel very lucky to raise the barn. It is meaningful to collect all the women power. We're in Leeds on Cinder Moor and we're building the Wow Barn. 24 hour marathon, 300 builders, exclusively women non-binary, all putting up together the future. Hey, this is happening! 300 women, it's insane. It is just phenomenal. The purpose of the barn is to demonstrate that if more of planning and ideas making and building and construction was in the hands of women, then we could imagine a completely different future. One, two, I was really, really shocked when I uh, heard about there's only 1% of women or non-binary in the construction industry. For so long you put up with just accepting that you're going to be in a minority and that you're perhaps going to be a bit intimidated by the atmosphere. So I think these kind of projects, by, by inspiring women and non-binary people to go into construction or by putting that little seed of excitement into perhaps a young carpenter, then we should be changing the face of what construction looks like. Everyone's just willing to get stuck in, getting on with the job. We can do these things. The traditional jobs that men used to do, women and non-binary people can do as well. We're really, we're in the zone, we're buzzing. It's not home DIY, this is like mega stuff. Just using big mallets and pegs and like heaving like huge lumps of wood around and moving towers and undoing legs and putting them back on again. It was pouring it down and yet it was just full of smiles and laughter and camaraderie which you don't see often. And for me, that's what Leeds is, that's what Leeds stands for, women stand for, just kind of pooling together and helping one another. There are moments when you achieve something collectively and you know and everybody just applauds each other and, and cheers each other on and really encouragement for when things are a bit tough, you know, when things something's not in line, you know, and you're counting the mallet as you're bashing it. So there's a real sense of um, we're in it together and anything is possible. It's been an extraordinary 24 hours, 300 women coming together to raise this fantastic building. I think the way that women have come together will have a knock-on effect for them, building confidence, enabling women to think that they can go into construction and carpentry if they wish, and also new friendships uh, and new bonds being made across all communities across West Yorkshire. The 1% statistic is going to change. Like, it's not it might change, it's going to change. And I think that's the massive part of it, is to fill people with confidence, to be able to just go and do it, and not have to listen to or think about what a man's gonna say to you. And it's not just it is possible, you know, to wield a hammer, and it's possible to kind of carry the wood around, it's possible to go up scaffolding, and put on rooms. It's also the idea that it's possible to have big dreams and make them happen. And especially big dreams that you do together as a community. 
Before doing this project, I didn't feel like there was a place for me in construction. But since doing this, I've really felt inspired. We've created this space for women and non-binary people. And when we come together, these are the truly amazing things that we can do.